Make sure to stand till the end, we'll explain how you can avoid damaging your engine and needing the engine replaced. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes. If you have one of those and all of a sudden it started overheating and you're on the phone trying to figure out what's happening, okay, you're searching for that, why Mercedes overheats, we'll explain the first thing that you need to check, guys, because if you keep driving the car like that, obviously you will destroy the engine or you will need the engine rebuilt if you overheat it completely, guys. So all that will be covered in this video today. Make sure to stand till the end. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We're constantly getting new cars. We're constantly working on something. Why we do all that, guys? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And if you need to buy any parts, tools for your car, Mercedes, any model, guys, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools, supplies, from and you can guys save a fortune so we have guys this 2013 mercedes c-class that we will demonstrate on let's say you're driving down the road okay and all of a sudden you see your temperature gauge start going really up and you pull over and you're trying to find what can easily cause that now guys uh, many mercedes vehicles guys okay many mercedes vehicles will use serpentine belt okay this is the serpentine belt and i want to show you in some cases how long that belt is guys that belt will be extremely long that belt drives multiple accessories such as power steering ac compressor you have water pump okay will be let me see on this side right there water pump alternator there as well so it has quite a bit of tension guys those belts tend to fail okay on older vehicles higher mileage vehicles so we have a special video that explains how often to replace serpentine belt on mercedes check it out it will teach you all about that because this one was about to fail at 65,000 miles and we have another one that snapped completely guys at 105,000 miles so uh, we have guys okay a special video that explains how often to replace the belt but if all of a sudden your car starts guys overheating you may even get an alternator line in some cases check if the belt is still installed because that's your water pump and the water pump is driven by the belt if the belt falls off or it's snapped guys it broke practically nothing will turn the water pump and the car can start overheating you have one auxiliary pump right here that can uh, circulate some water but not enough guys okay to prevent your car from overheating this one is mostly guys okay for uh, recirculating the heat when you activate the heat uh, function for winter time or after turning the engine off if it's really hot that pump will keep circulating so the engine does not overheat practically which is a really really good design but first thing check the belt we have another video that explains the top five why mercedes overheat we're going to talk uh, about thermostats things like that and uh, one common mistake people make when working on their mercedes that can cause overheating as well hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you needing that quick information thank you for watching see you next time